On June 1st, back in 2020, close to 200 protesters were swept up in mass arrests on Swan Street here in D.C. in violation of a curfew put in place by Mayor Muriel Bowser. Now, I don't know about you, but I remember the night vividly. We reported on it right here. Uh, starting with the image of citizens running from an advancing wall of D.C. police officers. I remember Good Samaritan Raul Dubé offering the shelter of his home to 60 strangers running from that wall. Putting that bright spot aside, the best way that I can think to describe it would be chaotic. Now, what I can't tell you is who was causing the chaos, the protesters or the police. And apparently neither could the federal judge who dismissed the complaint several of the arrested protesters brought against D.C. police, alleging that they were trapped by the officers with a kettling maneuver and arrested without cause, a violation of their constitutional rights to freedom of speech and freedom of assembly. Now, according to reporting in The Washington Post, the judge called the arrest legal and proper, upholding the constitutionality of the mayor's curfew order and the tactical conduct of officers. Conduct which Swan Street residents Julian Hunt and his wife Lucretia had a bird's eye view of, as they told WSA 9's own Adianda Till. You could see a very clear strategy by the police to corral the protesters, because the police were coming from all directions. From Argentina, I know exactly the strategies of the police, you know, what, what they try to, you say, box in. She recognized the conduct because it reminded her of what she experienced during Argentina's military coup. So did military strategist, retired Army Major Mike Lyons, who described their conduct thusly. Used very classic military strategies that are used in urban warfare. But if you look in history, um, again, in most cases, you don't see that in, unless there is real unrest that exists in that country. Urban warfare that only one heavily armed pepper spray wielding side looked to be competing in. It's conduct that the police chief at the time, Peter Newsham, was proud of. The level of judgment and restraint uh, that our police showed, uh, I think, is something at the end of the day that uh, we will look back on and be proud of our agency for doing. Now, I have to wonder who the we is that he's talking about. Because there's no denying that the protesters were out past curfew. But did they deserve this level of response? The very reason they were in the streets was to protest this kind of police conduct. And then they're subjected to it. So what a pride-filled moment that must have been. Now, last year, the Office of D.C.'s Attorney General declined to charge any of the 194 protesters arrested on Swan Street. And an informal review, an internal review, cleared officers of any wrongdoing. So I guess all's well that ends well, right? 